Lesson 2.9, Count On and Back by 10 and 100. We can use place value to find 10 more, 10 less, 100 more, or 100 less than a three-digit number. 10 more, we add 110. 10 less, we take away 110. 100 more, we add 100. 100 less, we take away 100. Knowing the place values will help us to add or subtract 110 or to add or subtract 100. So remember, this is the ones place, this is the tens place, this is the hundreds place. We can show 10 less or 10 more than a number by changing the digit in the tens place by one less or one more. We have the number 238, this is the tens place. 10 less would be one less 10 than 238. That would be counting back 10. We would have 228. That's one less than three. We have a two in the tens place. For 10 more than 238, we look at the tens place and we give it one more 10. We have 248. We count on 10. We can use quick drawings to show 10 less or 10 more than 238. We make a quick drawing for 200, three tens, eight ones, and for 10 less, we cross out 110. Here's 110, we cross it out. Now we have 228. For 10 more, we draw one more 10. We just put another 10 here. We have 248. When we show 10 less, we count back 10. When we show 10 more, we count on 10. When we show 100 less, we count back 100. When we show 100 more, we count on 100. And we can use mental math and think of the answer by using place values. We can show 100 less or 100 more than a number by changing the digit in the hundreds place by one less or one more. We have 238, 100 less, we would take away one of the hundreds. We count back 100 and one less than two is one. We have 138. 100 more, we would add a one to the hundreds place. Instead of two, we now have three. We have 338. We count on 100. We can use quick drawings to show 100 less or 100 more than 238. 100 less than 238, we cross out 100. Now we have 138. We have 100, three tens, and eight ones. For 100 more, we just draw another 100. Now we have 338. Here, it's telling us to write the number 10 more than 526. We can use mental math by thinking of the place values. 10 more, we have a two in the tens place, we would add one more 10. That would be 536. 10 less than 526, we can use mental math and take away one of these tens. Do you know what the answer is? If you said 516, you're right. We have one less 10. 100 more than 526 is, do you know? We would give it one more 100, it would be 626. 100 less than 526 is, do you know?
If you said 426, you're right. We can use mental math, think of the place values, and add one to that place value or take one away. Here we have a word problem. Sophia is reading a book that has 142 pages. Tala is reading a book that has 10 fewer pages than Sophia's book. How many pages does Tala's book have? We think we can circle the important clues. Sophia's has 142 pages, that's important. And Tala's has 10 fewer, that's important. Fewer means less, so we need to find 10 less than 142. We have one in the hundreds place, four in the tens place, and two in the ones place. 10 less, we would subtract 110. Do you know how many pages Tala's book has? If you said 132 pages, you're right. Bob saved 256 pennies. Dave saved 100 less pennies than Bob. And Tala saved 10 more pennies than Dave. How many pennies did Tala save? So we think, first we need to find 100 less than 256. Tala's is 10 more than Dave, but we don't know what Dave's is until we find out what is 100 less than Bob's. It's all being compared to each other. Tala's is being compared to Dave, and Dave's is being compared to Bob's. 100 less than 256 is, do you know? If you said 156, you're right. Now we know that Bob has 256 pennies, Dave has 156 pennies, and Tala saved 10 more pennies than Dave. 10 more than Dave would be 10 more than 156. If we give one more 10 to 156, do you know how much it would be? If you said 166, you're right. That means Tala saved 166 pennies. We had to figure out how many Dave had, then we would be able to figure out how many Tala had. In our next lesson, 2.10, we're going to talk about number patterns and counting number patterns. Keep trying to do your best. I'm really proud of you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.